As lecturers, when delivering lectures or drafting assignments, these are the needs that we should be observing. The need of the students, what long-term skills are we imparting to them, how should we motivate their learning, the need of the module, how can we achieve the learning objective of the subject, and the need of the country, how can these students eventually serve as a contributing workforce to the country, especially when Malaysia is moving towards a leader and entrepreneurial country in science and technology. This module, Pharmaceutical Biotechnology, aims to expose the pharmacy students to the development and application of biotechnology in the discovery of new drugs. For example, the new COVID vaccine and the newer treatment for cancers, these are all biotechnology invention, or we call them biologics. Now, with the Pharmaceutical Biotechnology module, I want to make interesting and enjoyable to the students so they are able to internalize the content, they are my first priority. I want them to achieve the learning outcome, which is to be able to apply novel therapeutic concept based on biotechnology, and I want to make it align with the country's need for leading and entrepreneurial scientists, at least mindset-wise. So how to have an assessment that blend all these three together? The best way to understand a concept is to be involved. With limited budget, limited facility, placement and time, it's near impossible for all students to experience biological drug discovery and production firsthand. But we can always play scientists. After all, I wanted an enjoyable learning experience and play is enjoyable. Conventional report writing or normal poster presentation might not trigger the excitement or that creative light bulb that much. Thus, I task the students to invent a drug. It can be as crazy as a drug can be and do not limit their imagination. However, the drug should be logical enough and that it can be synthesized and produced using biotechnology concepts. That way, they are able to cognitively process all the concepts that have been taught to them into producing an output. And not just invention, they need to pitch their invented drugs to the audience and we encourage creative role playing. The students worked in a group of six and we assessed the invention in terms of its scientific content, creativity and presentation skills. It was a very lively and successful pitching session and we have outstanding awards including the most original and creative award, funding award and best presented award. Through this assignment, we hope students are able to internalize the learning outcomes for their continuous personal, professional and entrepreneurial development. Thank you.